Hi folks, Kevin here. This video is going to be a little bit different than most. It's not going to be a uh, synopsis of the last couple of days of my hike. I'll get to that in the next video. This one's going to be a synopsis of the people I've met so far on my hike. I think it's important that people who come out here understand who they're going to run into and what kind of people there are on the trail. It's a different community than what you'd, you'd expect in general civilized world. So. Uh, first up would be my tramily. That's a trail family, my first trail family. I've got a couple now. Uh, you know, I'm about 165 miles in. I'm at the Fontana Dam um, Lodge right now. I'll be here all day tomorrow so that I can just rest up my feet. My feet are killing me. Otherwise, everything else is going great. Uh, we've had wonderful weather. It's going to rain tomorrow anyway, so I figured I'd go ahead and buy two nights here at the lodge, and then I could head back out onto the trail on Sunday. Uh, my tramily, here's a picture of my tramily at Blood Mountain Cabin or Blood Mountain uh, Shelter. Uh, this is, you'll see in here, Michaela, Christine, Elizabeth, AKA Inside Out. And she earned that name by accidentally wearing her running shorts inside out for an entire day of hiking. And everybody thought she just put on her running shorts and then put on her underwear on top of that. And she didn't realize it until it was pointed out late in the day. And at that point, she just said, oh, what the hell? Uh, which is a lot of how things go out here. Jeffrey, uh, Brian, and Jeremy. Uh, everybody here in this group was with me the first six or seven days, uh, at least from uh, uh, Amicalola all the way through to um, um, Mountain Crossings. And at that point, we slowly start to spread out. That's how it kind of works. Uh, some people I've stayed in touch with. Michaela and Brian I've stayed in touch with. Brian's a couple days ahead of me. He's also known as Strider. Uh, that's because the guy can walk faster than any teenager on this trail. Trust me, he's only three years younger than me, and he can outpace anybody. Um, uh, another person I ran into at Winding Stair Gap, her name is Molly Hope and her fiance Kyle. I also met her parents and her brother. They were all hiking together and she recognized my trail name, which is now Reckless Abandon. And she, she had heard it because she knows my son. And my son told her, I think my dad's name is Reckless Abandon. Sure enough, when she heard it, she says, oh my God, I know your son, Logan. She and Logan were both officers in the army and served together in Hawaii for a couple of years. And then later when she was stationed in Germany and he was stationed in Italy, uh, the two of them got together to go bungee jumping in Switzerland, which is just the kind of thing they do these days. Uh, at any rate, Kyle is through hiking the entire trek and uh, everybody else kind of peeled off after a couple of days and went back home. But Kyle is still out there with his dog, doing a wonderful job. He and I have kind of leapfrogged one another a few times. So we're on pretty close to the same pace, but I know he's a faster hiker than me. Uh, next would be Michaela. She was part of the original trail family. And the reason I want to bring her up again is because she gave me K-tape on day two. When she saw that I, my knee was hurting, she had K-tape. Now. Trail magic comes in many forms. It comes from people who are just on the road, roadside and it comes from other hikers. Hikers are some of the most generous people you'll ever meet and this proves it. She gives me the K-tape that she probably was going to need herself one day. Uh, don't worry about it, she said. I'll get more at the next stop and I'm sure she did. But thank you, Michaela. You were my first trail angel. Uh, next was Amy Holt. Amy Holt is a YouTube subscriber of mine and she recognized me walking down the trail, uh, screamed and said she wanted a selfie. I've never had that happen to me before, so that was kind of different. Uh, it was awesome, thank you, Amy. Uh, but not only did Amy get a selfie with me, about an hour later, I pulled into camp having just watered up at a, at a, at a, local, at a nearby stream and I had left a piece of my CNOC, my Canock bag, uh, the slide that goes on the top of the dirty water bag, uh, at the tra at the water uh, place and she saw it and brought it to camp and shouted out to the 35 people who were there who lost this and I already knew at that point I had sure enough it was mine so thank you Amy I appreciate that I needed it uh, next would be Oliver Henderson aka Bowie Oliver is just a ray of sunshine on this trail. She's as happy as she can be. She's another YouTuber. She's got her own channel so look her up. I think it's called free something I'll look it up for you um, uh, she gave me hand warmers when when I lost a glove I lose things okay it's just the way it is okay you just have to deal with that 
uh, I lost my right hand glove. So she saw me hiking with a left hand glove and a sock on my right hand. She gave me a hand warmer to put inside that sock. It was 20 degrees outside. It was the most welcome thing I could, I could have possibly imagined. Thank you so much, Bowie. Uh, and then the next day, she did it again, okay? When she saw I still didn't have a glove, she gave me another hand warmer. Uh, also, uh, Bowie uh, loaned me her spoon when I, when I lost my spoon, which I did. Yes, I lost that too. Uh, so she, hand, she loaned me her spoon for, a, for an evening. Before uh, her meal was ready, I used her spoon to eat my meal. Trust me, I've been vaccinated and I'm sure she's immune. At any rate, uh, Salty, I don't have a picture of Salty, but Salty loaned me his Japanese fishing gloves uh, on day three when the temps were still in the, the low 30s. And uh, Salty's gloves were a godsend. They got me through that hard part. Let me tell you, there's nothing worse than cold, cold fingers that you can't even feel. Uh, but Salty did a wonderful job, uh, a wonderful thing for me there. Um, Mimi, Mimi, gave me, gave me, gave me her spoon when she said, I'm getting off at Fontana Dam. This is just a section hike for me. I don't need it anymore. Take it. I took her address and said, I'm going to mail this back to you. And she says, I don't want the spoon back. I want a picture of the spoon on Mount Katahdin. Boy, there's pressure, huh? So sure enough, I'm, I've got her spoon and I'm going to, I promise not to lose it. That one's going all the way to the mountain with me. Uh, James and Monica, I hiked with this couple for about two, three days, a wonderful couple, been married 25 years, both out of the uh, Navy, and uh, he, does, they were section hiking, they're not through hiking the entire trail, so they were just doing parts of North Carolina, and they had mailed a supply box to Fontana Dam, but they were not going to be here to get it because uh, blisters on the feet pretty much ended their, their section hike a couple of days early. So they put my name on their supply box and told me when I get to Fontana Dam to pick it up and then use what I can and give the rest away. Okay, basically become a trail magic uh, hero myself. So no problem. I'll take care of that this afternoon. Trust me, I've got a bunch of friends here already and I know they're all anxious to see, you know, what, what does James and Monica have in that supply box? But not only that, James noticed that one young lady was wearing a rather thin coat the morning we were leaving the NOC, the NOC. And uh, uh, he asked her, do you have a thicker coat? And she says, no, but I'm sure I'll be fine. He goes, no, you won't. You need a puffy. Everybody needs a puffy out here. Trust me. He took the puffy off his back and gave it to her. He gave her a $150 coat, I know. And just so she, because he was worried about her. He was concerned about her. And he said, I don't want it back. I just want you to stay warm. I want you to finish this hike. God bless James and God bless Monica and God bless everybody that, 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 was, that was on this uh, trail doing their little magic between one another. Uh, then there was trail magic by a pass-through hiker named Chestnut. I had hamburgers. Myself, James, and Monica had hamburgers on a roadside as we crossed a road one day. Uh, there was another uh, trail magic on the side of the road by Census Taker and Y2K Why Not. Those are their trail names from years past. They probably hiked it 20 years ago. Um, and then, of course, there was trail magic from Mimi, who gave me the spoon, and her twin sister, uh, Vickery. Uh, their husbands met us to pull them off the trail at uh, near Fontana Dam, and they... Uh, uh, they provided muffins and Gatorade for all of us as we were hiking. At any rate, the, the, the synopsis of this whole thing is that on the trail, money is not the currency. Generosity is. Generosity is the currency on this trail. And it's fascinating to watch it in action. It's, it's wonderful to be a recipient, but it's wonderful to be able to give too. So do what you can. Do as much trail magic in real life as you can off the trail. And uh, who knows, maybe the world will be a better place. At any rate, that's it for now. The next video, I promise, will be a catch up between where I left off last at the, at the knock laundry room and moving forward. Now, I'm now in Fontana Dam, so I've done a good three days worth of hiking and uh, I'll get you caught up on that next, okay? Thanks so much, bye.